What's going on homies? My name is John Solo and today I'm bringing you all a Star Wars theory. Before we dive into this theory, I want to make a little disclaimer and that is that I absolutely love The Force Awakens. Admittedly, when I had first seen it, I felt a little bit indifferent about it, but that was just because up until that point, I was so used to knowing everything there is to know about the Star Wars universe, at least in terms of what directly pertained to the movies. So the introduction of so much new material just felt sort of strange. The second time I saw it, I knew what to expect, so the new creatures, characters, planets, etc. didn't all feel so foreign to me like it did the first time. It felt like the Star Wars universe that I grew up loving. And now, having seen it more times than I can even count and having read so much about it, I can say that I without a doubt absolutely love it. That being said, I am still a little disappointed in one scene specifically, the scene involving the Knights of Ren. I don't know about you guys, but it seemed to me that during the promotional period for the movie, the Knights of Ren were everywhere. You could see them in one of the trailers, a screenshot of the scene they appeared in was being posted all over the internet for people to analyze, and there were countless fan theories created about how they'd be involved in the movie. Yet in the end, we really only saw them for about 10 seconds and they were gone. I know we're gonna learn all about them in the upcoming films, but I can't help but be a little disappointed. There was so much hype built around these characters and they didn't really do anything. Sort of similar to another certain character. It's because of this feeling that I am so excited to bring you guys this theory today. We may be one step closer to the identity of the Knights of Ren finally being revealed. Like I said earlier, I have read quite a few theories regarding the Knights of Ren and their involvement in the new trilogy. Some fans think that they were Luke's Padawans that decided to follow in Kylo's footsteps. Other fans think that they're some of Supreme Leader Snoke's other apprentices. But this theory proposes something else entirely. The Knights of Ren are Sith elite warbots. Now admittedly, when I first heard this theory, I sort of just brushed it off. Not because it's a bad theory, I actually think it's a great one, but because the idea of making the Knights of Ren a bunch of robots just seemed kind of dumb, for lack of a better term. That being said, after reading the theory, I was pretty intrigued, so I decided to look up what Sith Elite Warbots on Wikipedia and I've got to admit that this theory makes perfect sense. What even are these warbots, you ask? Well, they were actually a type of battle droid that was developed by the ancient Sith. This is the very first sentence of their Wikipedia entry, and you can already start to make some connections to The Force Awakens, because in Episode 7 we're shown that Snoke and Kylo have access to ancient Sith technology, because Kylo's lightsaber is actually based off of an old Sith design. Who's to say that the Knights of Ren aren't based on an old Sith design as well? Another interesting point is that despite the name, the warbots weren't typically typically used in war. Instead, the Sith used them as a form of security. Specifically, there were many high-ranking officials in the Sith Empire that used them as personal guards. I feel like this fits perfectly in The Force Awakens and would explain why we don't see the Knights at all outside of Rey's vision. Snow could probably assign them to guard his own chambers. Some may think this is a bit of a stretch, because Emperor Palpatine simply used Imperial Guards as his security. But apparently, several members of the old Sith Empire felt more comfortable using droids that were programmed to take orders as opposed to working guards. And remember, we don't actually know how old Snoke is. J.J. Abrams and Andy Serkis have both hinted that Snoke has been around for a really long time. Maybe he's one of the last remaining members of the old Sith Empire and feels the same way towards organic guards. Actually, when you think about it, Snoke being an ancient being could even explain how he and Kylo got access to the old tech in the first place. Something else really cool is that the Sith Elite Warbots were highly proficient in both melee and ranged combat. And actually, if you look at this picture of the Knights of Ren, you can see that that they have both close combat weapons and blasters. Now, if the knight's melee weapons were to be effective at all, you'd probably assume that they were lightsaber resistant, right? Well, it turns out that the weapons the warbots used were all treated to be resistant to lightsaber blades. There's a lot of similarities between these guys. And guess what? It doesn't stop there. Take a real close look at the Knights of Ren, and you can see that each one is wearing a different style of armor. Typically, I'd look at this and use it as proof against the theory, and some watching this video may do just that. Because why would six battle droids all be wearing totally different kinds of armor. But one thing to take into account is that there are multiple different Warbot models. There were some that specialized in close quarter combat, some in ranged combat, and some that were even used as training droids. And though their behavior was generally always the same, their weapons and armor were not. And now that you've heard the theory, I want to hear what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like it but maybe still not believe in it entirely? Personally, I'm a little bit torn on it because I do think that it fits into the movie like just about perfectly. So my 
reasons for being sort of suspicious or being sort of hesitant to believe it have nothing to do really with the theory itself, but more like a behind the scenes reason. It's weird because the Sith Elite Warbot's existence is not canon. So even if the writers based the Knights of Ren 100% off of the Sith Elite Warbots, they may not actually be them. Does that make sense? Like personally, I feel like there are way too many similarities for there to be no connection between the two at all. But I wouldn't exactly be surprised if the Knights of Ren weren't the Sith Elite Warbots, but instead just heavily inspired by them. I just told you what I thought, so now I wanna hear what you guys think. Leave me your opinions in the comment section down below. Maybe hit this video with a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it, share the video with a friend or two, and subscribe for weekly Star Wars content. I hope to see you all very soon, and may the force be with you.